Well, you might notice that your property tax bill in the mail seems lower this time around. That's because it's already including property tax relief, which, by the way, hasn't been voted on yet. Hunter Alcacer has more on how this was all possible. Hunter. Crystal, I spoke with State Representative Brooks Landgraf today about how the state was able to afford all this property tax relief and what this means for the average Texas resident. Local appraisal districts all around Texas, under the direction of the state, were told to reflect property tax relief that's going to be on the ballot this November. But how is the state able to afford giving out property tax relief like this? Where did all this money come from? Uh, you know, folks have been really uh, struggling with, you know, high inflation and, uh, and you know, that has led to uh, a surplus of, uh, of revenue in the state's coffers. And we thought the best way uh, to spend that revenue is to give it right back uh, to the taxpayers who paid it. This tax relief will also be affecting the tax rate of independent school districts. But according to Landgraf, the state is in a position to make sure no one is getting the short end of the stick. We are forcing independent school districts all across the state to cut taxes, but then to make sure that we don't lose any public education funding, that money is being replaced dollar for dollar uh, by budget surplus revenue from the state of Texas. So uh, it, it prevents people from being taxed twice, but it also drives down property taxes. As part of the state's tax cut package, about $7.1 billion will be sent to school districts so they can lower their tax rates. It's known as what's called a compression and would reduce a school district's maintenance and operations tax rate. The M&O tax as it's called, helps pay for costs like teacher salaries and school building maintenance. It makes up a large chunk of most of a property tax owner's bill. Landgraf also says that in order for these property tax cuts to be finalized, Proposition 4 would need to be voted for on the ballot this November.